Good morning, Magicals, and third time lucky, it's Friday! I'm so excited, yay! Welcome to your Friday reading. Okay, we're going to get straight into it. It's a busy day ahead. Um, this morning's reading is about our solar plexus, okay? Right, your third chakra, it's Manipura. It sits just below your, like, um, chest line. Um, it's it's um, deprived or, like, you know how I talk about the kryptonite. What depletes it is shame, okay? So anything that creates shame in your space, again, like um, the heart chakra, it doesn't matter what chakra the issue activates in, if it creates shame, it's going to affect your solar plexus, okay? This is our power center, motivation, willpower, determination, it's our drive, okay? It's our absolute drive. Um, it's also the center of our self-identity, how, um, how we actually see ourselves, okay? Um, and as such, it's where we make our decisions. It's our, our mental processing happens from our solar plexus because when you know yourself or to what extent you know yourself is going to affect how you make your decisions and what decisions you make. Okay, right. So the first card we've drawn um, from the tarot is the four of water. Okay, now if you have a look here, it's the four of cups traditionally for those who don't know. There's one, there's one pearl being offered and around her there's one down there and then there's um one up here okay and there's another one down there okay now what i'm being told is the meaning with this card for today is about boredom it's about discontentment okay that is a gift from the universe this one pearl being offered is a gift from the universe now in the traditional right away tarot the guy's looking at the three cups but not seeing the one cup behind him Okay, um, the Ace of Cups, or the, the, I don't know if it's behind him, I think it's being offered, one of the, one of the, the, the tarot sets are behind him, but, but it's being offered to him, okay, and he's not seeing what's on offer, all right, all he can think about is the empty cups that lie around him, okay, so I'm just using this deck because I think it's just so beautiful, it's such a beautiful deck, um, but the essence of the meaning is that at the moment, the energy for today is to not focus on what we don't have or what isn't going right, in inverted commas, but to see what we have and to focus on what we are, what we are able to do, what we have, what we are able to achieve, what we have achieved, okay? This is very, very much about focusing on the positive side of stuff today and not focusing on what we don't have, because that, that creates a sense of apathy based on discontentment, frustration, and boredom, okay? So to avoid that at all costs, focus on what the universe is offering you and what it has given you and is giving you, all right? So I then asked, how do we fix this? And honest to God, this came up. Gratitude, okay? Now, for me, the holding of the hands and the one hand coming down from what looks like the sky is very much about the hand reaching out, okay, it's saying that spirit has always got you, even if you cannot see it, even if you're focusing on the empty cup, so to speak, all right, universe is always working in your favor, it's conspiring in your favor constantly, so what it's saying is focus on that, focus on the helping hand being reached out, focus on the stuff that is being given, and give gratitude for that, gratitude is a huge energy changer, it's massive, the moment that you walk with attitude, with an attitude of gratitude, everything starts changing because when you are not focusing on what you have, you're focusing on what you don't have. And when you do that, you're creating a, a frequency of lack in your life because you're going, okay, well, that's missing. That's missing. That's missing. I don't have this. I want that. I don't have that. This hasn't arrived. You know, I don't have a relationship. I don't have this car. I don't, I'm not able to buy a bigger house, whatever the situation is that's creating an energy of lack around you, okay, and that is just going to create more lack, because you could be putting out that frequency, in one of the readings, I spoke about the, the universe being like a radio, okay, same thing, you're putting out that energy of lack, so when you focus on gratitude, you're focusing on what you do have, and being grateful for it, and when you are grateful for what you do have, the universe goes, oh, hold on, she likes it, I'll give her more of that, or I'll give her more of this, or I'll give her that, okay, so big one, big, big one today, and then um, it was interesting, I said, what was the outcome? And I got answers, okay? So if you are feeling bored and discontent in a situation or um, it's not moving forward, not on how to, you know, not sure how to move forward because things are not going your way, if you can focus on your gratitude, right, the answers will come, 
Okay, so that is basically what they're saying to you, is that if you're in that space of just being really stuck, not being able to go anywhere or to do anything with where you, you know, with what you're wanting to move forward with, then they're saying very clearly, just take a breath, you will get the answers you need, okay, it will come through, but not when you're focusing on what you don't have, okay, not when you're focusing, you have to start focusing on what you do have, being grateful for it, and then the steps to move forward and to, to achieve what you want to achieve will actually come through for you. Okay, so interesting reading this morning. Um, I'm, oh, I'm so excited, it's Friday. Gosh, almighty, I'm so excited, it's Friday. Um, I will, before I give you your mantra and your, your um, seed sound, I will be back tomorrow morning. Um, I'm sorry, guys, this week has just run away with me. It's been incredibly busy and incredibly tiring. The the divine, the divine feminine um, shifting video will still go out. I promise you it will go out in the next day or two. Um, but, yeah, this week has just been, she says, been like a runaway train. Okay, so for those who are waiting for the Twin Flame Mini, I promise you it is coming. All right. Okay, so then our mantra for today. Here we go. Look at this. I am strong and independent. Okay, so remember that, remember that you have what it takes to do what you need to do, um, but again, coming back to gratitude, all right, don't ever forget how much you've achieved and how much spirit has helped you achieve in the past, okay, because that will just perpetuate more um, if you're feeling stuck in a business or something like that, okay, all right, so I am strong and independent okay that's our, our mantra for today and it like sparks our little solar plexus vibe hectically okay so um if you are wanting to connect with the seed sound and you're wanting to work with your so your your um your so solar plexus then um we're working with ram okay so ram and it's obviously a spelled r-a-m but pronounced ram so if you chant ram for a bit it actually connects you in with your solar plexus Okay, guys, mwah, love you much, Lee. Um, I will see you definitely tomorrow morning. If I get a chance to do the Twin Flame reading today between clients, I will definitely do that. But I'm sending you so, so much love and wishing you a wonderful, wonderful Friday. I'll catch you on the flip side. Have a good one.